never know how to start these things. Hey guys, welcome back to Sculpture Geek Sessions, episode 100. Uh, four. Four. Episode four. There's four episodes, three before. This is the fourth episode. That's it. We're on episode four. So up until now, I've just been doing some sketches for this series. Sculpts that I've left loose. I saw the opportunity to take this one a little bit further since he's a really detailed character. I've always wanted to sculpt some Mortal Kombat characters. Never had the opportunity to in my professional career. I've been a Mortal Kombat fan since the beginning, so I really felt I needed to do this guy justice. If you haven't played the new Mortal Kombat MK11, I highly recommend it. I tend to agree with with the rest of the internet that it's one of the best in the series. Seeing the game this time around really brought back memories of the first time quartering up to that big red beast, like 27 years ago. I recycled so many soda cans to get money to play that game. I've got so many memories of this game, I could talk about it forever. I'm not gonna do that, but I do wanna share my experience with the first time I ever laid eyes on the cabinet. It was at a showcase cinema in Seekonk, Massachusetts. There were a group of teenagers huddled around the cabinet. I walked up and I remember standing there being mesmerized. Flawless victory. Oh, the characters on the screen were so realistic, just pulling off these sweet moves. And every time one of the characters would hit, Blood would splatter all over the place. The hits were so fun and satisfying. Then, it happened. The end of the second round, the words finish him appeared across the screen. The screen darkens. Sub-Zero reaches up, rips off Kano's head with the spinal column, still attached, blood's coming out everywhere, and then he holds the head up towards the screen and an ethereal voice says, Sub-Zero wins. Well, I'd say so, Cupcake. And I remember thinking to myself, is this real? You can't show this in public. There are kids around. Well, I was one of those kids. And that was all I had to see. From then on, for life. I think that's still one of my favorite fatalities to this day. It's clean, simple, and gets the point across to your opponent that you just f so all your friends or their friends could get a good laugh at their expense or your expense. Friendship. Actually, guys, let me know in the comments what your favorite Mortal Kombat game is. Your favorite fatality, your favorite character, or just share a memory or whatever. I love reading stuff like that. Anyway, back to my story. Then came Mortal Kombat 2. Oh. New stages, new moves, new fatalities, new stage fatalities, and new characters, including one of my favorites, Baraka. It came to the arcades first, like usual, and I waited and waited and waited for that game to come to home consoles. Finally, the day came. I called up my local KB Toys. Rest in peace, KB Toys. So I hung up the phone and thought, I'm 10. I don't have a car. My bike has a flat. An adult has to be present to purchase the game. It's gonna take 1,284 cans to cover the cost. And I've only got 14. <laughs> you suck. I called my mom at work frantically and told them it was an emergency. My mother gets on the phone. Chris, is everything okay? Yeah, mom, I got one copy of Mortal Kombat 2 left at KB Toys. We gotta go. You gotta get home right now. <sighs> okay. Alright. I thought something was really wrong. There is. They won't hold it. Well, why don't you just work on some of your peanut butter men until I get home, okay, honey? Nah, I'm just gonna learn ZBrush. What's that? It's a program that tricks people into thinking they possess more skill than they actually do. Toasty! Oh. Just kidding. It's the wave of the future. It's not out yet. That's why I have time to play Mortal Kombat 2 now. Well, your father likes peanut butter. She thought I had burned down the house. I didn't. Not that time. And that's still one of her favorite stories to tell to this day. Now, fast forward 26 years. That was just two. We're on 11. That's a lot of time for improvement. Baraka's back. He's got huge teeth, huge blades coming out of his arms. You pick him, just mash down back and front kick, man. You can't lose. Actually, you can lose, and you probably will. 
but he's still awesome and he looks cooler than ever. So let's go make a thing.
Is that your best? No. Oh! Actually, you can lose. And you probably will. <sighs> new stages, new moves, new fatalities, new stage fa- For f- <laughs> She's gonna pay for that.